Bradley, Andre Ward, and Mark Kriegel here with you. First up on our undercard is a pair of featherweights scheduled for six rounds. The UK Olympian Karis Artingstall taking on Marina Sakharov. Let's get right to the action. Karis Artingstall, 1-0. Southpaw fighting out of England, Marina Sakharov, 5, 16, and 2 with three KOs out of France. You see Arding Stahl in the Southpaw stance. She is known as a power puncher in the amateurs. She was also a prestigious gunner in the army here and had a very entertaining ring walk, ring entrance as she was led out by fellow members of the army. As you see her dig to the body with that right hand right away on Sakharov. My goodness. Arting Stahl got some skills. You can tell she's digging down to that body, really sitting down on that lead hook down to the body. Artingstall not throwing Christina, heavy what punches I like to the head. About Artingstall but she's throwing heavy she's shots to the body. Distance. She's not smothering her work. She's keeping her distance out, using her jab and really extending with her punches. Good steady work from Artingstall. Quick Rob shots to the head, really powerful shots to the body. You know, having a hard time dealing with that high power offense of Artingstall. Right there for Artingstall, one of six rounds. And I'd like to apologize on behalf of our whole crew for the technical difficulties getting on the air this evening. We will be bringing you all five fights on the card fights and then our co-main and main event still to come but our first fight here on the night a strong start for karen is here tonight in fact i saw her here three hours ago just walking around the arena soaking it all in checking out the ring and then obviously went back and freshened up and is here and ready for her main event but still in the ring right now we have our opening bout round two minute remember two minute rounds here for the ladies two minute rounds As you can see, Christina, the southpaw is getting that lead foot on the outside. She's dominating that position. That's the position that you want to get in when you're facing the orthodox fighter, you being that southpaw. That's going to keep the orthodox fighter off balance. It's also going to allow you to line up your backhand, fighting from this open stance position. Soccer Rob don't have a whole lot of offense, Christina. You know, she, she's in there trying to survive at the moment. Artie Stahl is putting together, putting her punches together cleanly to the head and also to the body and dominating every single department. I like the steady Sakharov pressure. want to get in this Arting fight. Stahl, she got to let her hands go. She is giving too much respect to Artie Stahl. And that's what you're going to see for the women. You're going to see a lot of punches being thrown because, you know, men, we go three minutes. The women, they go two-minute rounds. So the women typically let their hands go. They don't have the, the appropriate time to be sitting back and try to set up their offense. They like to get to work, and they like to get busy. Artingstall definitely getting busy once again here in round two. Doing a good job fighting off the jab, even hooking off that lead right-hand jab from that southpaw position. She is known as an aggressive fighter. 
And Safarov, you talked about the lack of offense there, Tim. I mean, she is coming off nine straight losses as a pro. She's a 15-year pro, but she is matched tough once again tonight against the 2021 Olympic Games featherweight bronze medalist from the UK. Yes, Christina, and I have to say that Arnie Stahl definitely looks good. You can see her poise inside the ring. I can see her skill set. It's there. She's determined and confident, and she's fighting that way tonight. Reaction to seeing Clarissa Shields arrive in her dress. Not sure if she's a fan of the look. Uh, we know she's not really a fan of Clarissa Shields, and those two will duke it out in our main event for the undisputed middleweight world titles. All four belts on the line. That's coming up later in our main event. Of course, our co-main event, the WBC, WBO, IBF, and junior lightweight unification fight between Michaela Mayer and Alicia Bumgarner. Uh, Art Stahl is a, is a work in progress, you know, early in her career right now, so she definitely has the skills. There's some punches that she's missing, though, the uppercut. You know, she pretty much, she's a great straight puncher. She comes around, digs down to the body well. But you can see Sakharov leaning forward, available for that uppercut, and she hasn't thrown one yet. Arding Stahl pouring it on now as she would love more than anything to get her first knockout as a pro. Just 1-0 and so far, first fight going the distance in her debut back in June. A six-rounder, this too, again, a scheduled six-rounder, but they're moving these Olympians quickly here. Really no steam on any of these punches from Sakharov. Ardingstahl turning her hand into these punches, looking to a little more comfortable in this second pro fight than she did in her pro debut. Yeah, Christina, being the consistent problem with is, that work down to the body. Christina, the problem is with Sakharov is, is that she's too square. And when you squared up like that, you become a bigger target. And you don't allow your hips. Your hips are, 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 are open. They're not closed. So when she throws her right hand, it, there's no power on it. <laughs> she's not setting her feet either at all. She's coming forward, marching forward in a wide stance. She is the only person in the boxing ring to have ever beat Clarissa Shields, beating her in the 2012 AIBA World Championships via decision. The only loss that Clarissa Shields has ever suffered, uh, amateur or pro. Clarissa looking for redemption tonight. Savannah Marshall looking for repeat. That's interesting you say that, Christina, because I, I, I truly believe that, like, on paper, I mean, I can understand and see the, the size advantage of Savannah Marshall, the punching power, the skill that she possessed. But on paper, this seems to me this might be a mismatch. You know, if you look at both fighters and what they've been able to accomplish, they've been fighting around the same, same amount of years, over five and a half years. You know, they have close to the same fights. You know, they fought, you know, opponents that are that they, you know, both guys, both women fought uh, opponents that were similar. And, you know, Savannah was able to knock them out, and Chris Shields wasn't able to do it. But the thing is, is that on paper, all the championships that Chris Shields has won, my goodness, 13 world championships, it's, it's a huge difference when he's talking about experience here. Absolutely is, Tim, and that's what she's talked about all week, saying, like, I've already been undisputed twice. I've already done things that no boxer, male or female, has ever done. She has no idea what that level is like, aside from the Olympics. And when she was in the Olympics, she said she folded. I walked away with gold medals. She walked away with nothing. So we'll see them back that up later on in our main event. Just under a minute left here in the fourth round. It's been all Karis Ardingstahl to this point, really Sakharov not getting any oomph on any of those punches, slapping the shots, and just as you said, Tim, not really sitting down on the punch as much. Although she has Ardingsall backed up a little bit now, as Ardingsall seems to lower her, her punch output here in round four. Well, Ardingsall is trying to set up that power. She's trying to really set down on her shots and really pick and land precise hard punches, as opposed to just letting her hands go. Inside. 
and even on the men's side for that matter being that she is the only boxer in history to go two times undisputed looking to go for a third that's coming up later on tonight in our main event but they are settled in watching some of the undercard action on the monitors from the locker room and speaking of undercard action we pick up here round five of six and Sakharov forgot her mouthpiece on the way out by herself a couple minutes there as action now picks up you know sometimes there's so much going on in that corner the trainer it can fit up, forget about the mouthpiece of his fighter as you can see right there that happens often in boxing But again, for Arlingstall, it's all about controlling range. And she's going there on the front end and the back end. So she's attacking and she's using her feet. You see her defense there. Creating space and distance and also punch angles to be able to land on Sakharov. One thing's for sure, Sakharov, she's, she's game. But she definitely is taking a beating right now from Martin Stahl. There's the uppercut I was looking for. I was calling for it earlier. So Martin Stahl does have that in her tool bag. And I'm glad she recognized that. So this lets me know that she has a full arsenal. I would say the next punch that I want to see her develop over time is the, the lead right hook. When you have your opposition leaning over a front knee like that, like Sakharov is, that right hook, just as she land there, is a perfect weapon to get off the line and to catch them as they're coming in. I cannot wait for that, our co-main event, the unification at junior lightweight between Alicia Baumgarno and Michaela Mayer. But we're in our first of three undercards before we get to our co-main and main event. Karis already still having her way with Marina Sakharov. Consistent with the jab, consistent to the body, doing a great job turning her hands over on those punches, trying to generate some more of that power. And there's a good shot right there with the lead. Look at that nice uppercut right there, the lead uppercut. You know, that comes from underneath. That's a great weapon to use against a smaller opponent like Sakharov. Don't see that often. You don't see Southpaws use that lead uppercut like that, getting her head off the line and coming right up the middle. And that was the exact Ooh. shot that you were calling for earlier to me, earlier in the fight. You saw that with the way Sakharov kind of leans over that front foot. Yes, it is, Christina. But I can tell you this, Christina, I love that body work. Look at that body work by Arden Stahl. My goodness, that's a beautiful, beautiful outside body shot. See how she's landing that shot is she's Punching straight down the middle, which is bringing the guard of Sakharov in tight. And she's coming around that guard or coming around the elbow of Sakharov to land that body shot. This one will go to a decision. Likely a unanimous one considering the dominant performance put on here tonight for Karis Ardingstall in her second pro debut with Big Mo in Ardingstall versus Sakharov. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of six full pounds, we go to our referee, Mark Bates, for the official decision. He sees the contest 60 to 54, declaring your winner and still undefeated, Karis.